What up, everybody? A conservative nerd here. Uh, talking new comic books came out yesterday. I got my video up. Uh, I read a lot of DC. Uh, well, not a lot, but I read quite a bit of DC. No, I read one Marvel book, I think. I, I flipped through a couple. Uh, and they look like garbage, so I didn't really read much for Marvel this week. Uh, Thor 1 looked like garbage. Yeah. The art was terrible. I didn't read it. I just I, I thought the art looked terrible. And uh, XL Four looked. Oh my god, it looked so bad. But yeah, you flip through those books and you just like yeah, put this down. Uh, god, Marvel's so bad. Yeah, and here's the problem with it. like Marvel right now is like yeah, if you go to a shop and you pick up a book. Because uh, I wouldn't put anything Marvel on my pull list. I mean, God forbid. I mean, you don't even know what you're getting. If they announce it issue one, it's like, yeah, yeah, I'll have to see it. If I'm going to get that. I mean, I wouldn't pick up anything Marvel on a pull list. Because you don't know what you're going to get. It's garbage. Sometimes the art is so bad. So bad. Like, yeah. And that doesn't even get into the writing or how, you know, that you could be reading a character and... He's gay. <laughs> you know, just make him gay, make him do this, make him, you know, <clears throat> hate Trump. And yeah, it's just stupid. But uh, what did I read good this week? Uh, Hal Jordan was okay. It wasn't, the, it, it felt a little drop in quality this week. It wasn't great. It, it, it's usually great. Uh, I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Uh, I thought probably the best book I read this week. Believe it or not, was I, I, I'm loving Suicide Squad. I'm loving this book, man. It's just a good book. With some anti-heroes and some cool stuff. This Batman teaming up with Deadshot story is awesome. This is just great. Yeah, if you haven't been reading this storyline, this is a good one. If you can pick up the back issues to it, I would. I mean, it's Batman and Deadshot teaming up to save Deadshot's daughter. Yeah, this is... I, I love this storyline. This is, this is so cool. Yeah, uh... It's really good. Uh, Suicide Squad are trying to take them down. Uh, and it's great. It's great stuff. Uh, it's probably... Uh, it was the best thing I read this week, in my opinion. And uh, a lot of people shit on you, Suicide Squad. And I don't get it. Because it, it's probably my, one of my top five books. Yeah, definitely Rebirth books. is probably one of my favorites. That and Hal Jordan. Flash was really good this week. Uh, Hawkman 1 was excellent. Brian Hitch on art. You can't do any wrong with Brian Hitch. Uh, and Robert Venditti, who's been doing uh, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps. So, yeah, this was good. Uh, yeah, DC's had some... If you stay on the DC superhero stuff, it's 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 fairly good. Uh, you know, uh, you start getting outside their superhero stuff, and then the SUW st stuff will definitely creep in. Uh, yeah, you're definitely better off staying with, like, Batman, Superman... Man of Steel was good. Yeah, I, I'd say Man of Steel was good this week. Uh, I did read one Marvel book. Uh, it was Deadpool Assassin. And uh, it was good. I, it wasn't great, but it was good. It was, the art was good. Mark Bagley did the art, who did Ultimate Spider-Man, the original uh, run. And uh, he's a great artist. So, yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I... It's... One of the better, I guess it's an ongoing series. So now you got two Deadpool books. It's, uh, huh? What? Yeah. So they got Deadpool and then Deadpool Assassin. But I didn't mind. Uh, Deadpool Assassin, if you like Deadpool, is about as good as the book's been. And since the Joe Kelly original run with Ed McGinnis, yeah, back in the 90s. So yeah, I, it, it, that was the, the first issue was great. We'll see if it keeps it up. Uh, but yeah. We'll see. Um, other than that, um, you know, those all stick out as stuff I read that was really good. I mean, nothing else is really sticking out that I read. This. Oh, I read uh, Titans uh, No Justice Special, which really is just uh, uh, Nightwing putting together a team, a uh, new Titans team, which will just continue the Titans book. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I lost a lot of interest in that book when Brett Booth left. I mean, man, Brett Booth is a good artist. It's weird that DC hasn't put him on anything big or high profile yet. 
Maybe he's not trans enough. I don't know. But yeah, he's a good artist. He should be on something, man. And uh, yeah, uh, I did. I thought it was okay. I mean, it's not. You're not going to pick it up and hate it, but I don't know. I, it's weird now because it's almost like if you, you do a teen book, there has to be a lesbian. I didn't know Steele's daughter was a lesbian, but I guess he is. Uh, because they have to have a lesbian on the team. Uh, how many lesbians? I mean, like in comic world, it seems like lesbians are like outnumber hetero chicks. Like, thank God I don't live in DC Universe and Marvel Universe, man. You never get laid. I mean, you never meet a woman. They're all lesbians. So, yeah, it's a terrible, terrible place, really. You know, you, you know, as a kid, you used to think, oh, the Marvel Universe would be a cool place to live. And now I think, wow, that... They made it a horrible place to live in. White people go around killing each other and committing crimes at an <laughs> astronomical rate. Uh, they're all racist and psychotic. Uh, you can't be white and not be a psychopath. Uh, and uh, everybody's gay. So it sounds like a horrible place. Yeah, way worse than the real world. So why would I want to ever go there? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, uh... They announced Iceman is coming back. Ooh, Marvel, yeah, really selling shit, man. You really, really, uh, just not giving up on shitty books, man. Unstoppable Wasp is coming back. These were terrible books, just unreadable garbage, wretched garbage. And uh, let's bring it back with the same shitty writers, cause uh, you know, it, you know, we can't let the racists win. I almost feel like that was, like they, they canceled them and then. We're like, oh, people are celebrating us, canceling these books. They're fucking racist. We can't let them win. We got to bring them back. I, I almost think that's 90% why they came back. I mean, Jeremy Whitley says it was because of sales, because of uh, trade sales. Bullshit. Bullshit. It's not because of trade sales. Because if we're going to go by sales, then EBS or uh, Richard C. Meyer, Diversity in Comics, would be... Number one, there he the guy sold a a trade paperback for he's got almost three hundred fifty thousand dollars off a trade paperback. He'd be in your top four trade paperbacks. You'd pick it up if it was sales. No, it's not sales. They, your books don't sell. It, it's politics. You don't care. Movies keep Marvel going, so they just keep cranking out garbage. It's all bullshit. It's all garbage. It's anti-Trump. Anti common sense, just anti common sense is all it is, really. It's a war on common sense. There's a war on common sense in Hollywood and comics everywhere. Just we're gonna obliterate common sense. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Cyberfrog's killing it. Shit, I bet you Cyberfrog by the end of the month will have close to 500, half a million dollars. Half a million dollars. That's my prediction on Cyberfrog. He's gonna make half a million dollars off of that. And it looks cool. Dude, those are those are the books everybody's excited for. I mean, I'm excited. I, I'll tell you what one I'm the most excited for is uh, Mitch uh, Bru Brett Meister's... Uh, I never say his name right. I'm just going to say Mitch B. He's got the Red Rooster coming out. And uh, it looks awesome. It looks really cool. I like the whole story he's got with it. You know, of an old hero whose values aren't respected anymore. He has to come out and wear the costume one time, even though the community hates him. I mean, that's kind. Of, that's some cool, deep shit, man. And that could be really fucking good. So I'm really pumped about that one. Uh, yeah, and I, I, it was a weak week. Or a weak week. A weak week. Yeah, it was. It was definitely weak. Uh, there was some good stuff from DC and... I thought there was one thing from Marvel I picked up, and it was okay. I mean, I liked the art, and I liked the story. It wasn't bad. It was, you know, an assassin story, so at least, you know, it was okay. Uh, I didn't really read anything bad this week. I'm trying to stay away from bad shit, because there's so much of it. But yeah, yeah, I'm so scared to even read number ones, man. Even Deadpool Assassin's like, oh my god, should I read this? I love Deadpool, but man, I haven't liked anything new from... And I didn't even read the last week's Deadpool 1. I just... I don't know. I'm, Marvel's just left a bad taste in my mouth with everything they do anymore. So, yeah. But 
I think I might keep reading Deadpool Assassin. I kind of like it. Uh, I like Mark Bagley. If he stays on it, if he leaves, then I probably wouldn't read it anymore. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I, I, might, I, I thought my under, the underdog pick of the week for me would be uh, Suicide Squad. I think it's great. I, I, I love the book. Uh, if you're not reading it, I think you should pick it up. It's It's definitely a cool book. It's one of my favorites right now. So, yeah, uh, Flash was cool. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I, I like the Flash War thing. It's kind of cool. Uh, it's it's different. It's kind of cool to see, you know, them go back into the Jeff Johns uh, Wally West run, which is one of my all-time favorite runs of any comic book. It's the Jeff Johns Wally West run. Uh, some of the best story arcs come out of that, in my opinion, and... Uh, it's easily my favorite Flash run. Uh, I think it blew Wade's away. And uh, everybody likes Wade's, and I liked it too, but it always seemed like in the Wade runs, all he did was face other speedsters. At least in the uh, Jeff Johns run, he kind of he renewed the rogues, made them cool again, brought them back, did a lot of cool stuff with it. And uh, I thought it was cool. Uh, so I'm liking Flash War because of that, because of the Wally West stuff. And... Uh, I think it's cool. Uh, that's really all I got for you guys today. Uh, you know, it's what I read. I read some good stuff. I didn't really read anything bad this week because I stayed away from it. And now I flip through stuff and it looks terrible. I just don't touch it. <laughs> like Thor or Exiles because they just looked awful. Man, that Thor book, the art just looked garbage. I mean, nothing tops X-Men Red for shit art, though. God. But anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. As always, you know, leave a comment if you want. Or something you want me to read or something you want me to review. I will add it to the list and get to it. Uh, and uh, hit like and hit subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching, as always. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody for watching. And uh, have a great day, guys. And uh, enjoy the comics.